this tutorial I'm going to show you how to design this particular card in Photoshop. In a previous tutorial I showed you how to design and set up your file for an A6 card. We've got the front of the card, the back and also the guidelines. So we're just going to hide the guidelines and make sure the front of your card is selected. And next we're going to add artwork to this. I'm going to use artwork from one of our design kits called Peaches and Cream. And details of where to get that are down below. In our subtle backgrounds folder, we've got some nice texture backgrounds and I'm going to select Midnight and Mint. I'm going to select the 8x8. Move it to where you feel would look good and hit tick once you're done. Now this covers the whole canvas and we don't want that. We want it to only be covering the front of our card. So we're going to clip it down to the front and to do that, right click and create clipping mask. And there we go. We can see that it's only applied to the front of our card. I'm going to move it so that the light green is just at the bottom there. Next, I'm going to add some frames. Inside our design kit, we have peaches and cream frames and go down to the peach circle frame PNG file. Drag and drop that into your canvas. Holding down the shift key and moving down with a corner of your image, you can scale it down. The shift key just helps keep it in proportion. Also make sure you use the PNG file because it's got a transparent background to it so you can see the nice design behind it too. Once you're done, hit the tick at the top and place it to where you'd like. Next, I'm going to add some text. Over in your tools panel, select T or T on your keyboard for short and draw a rectangle. I'm using a font called Medina Script. This is a paid for font, but I've also linked to a free one down below. 60 points and I'm going to choose a color and it's here that you can choose it. Down in my swatches panel, I have a color pre-selected or you can type FED6BA and you'll have the same color as me. Hit OK. I'm going to type forever. And once you're done, hit the tick. Use your move tool, V for short, or select your move tool up here and go over. Now I actually feel it should be a little bit bigger. So if you want to edit the text, you can simply hit the T or select your T text tool and go in here and you can up the size I'd like a bit more than that. So maybe a hundred. Yep. Once you're done, hit the tick, hit V again or your move tool, and then you can move it up and place it where you'd like. Next, we're going to add some artwork to this. Over in our design kit, we have some finished arrangements. Go into the large arrangements folder and select the large floral corner PNG. And again, we're going to scale this down. Hold the shift, keep proportions and drag in the corner. And I'm going to make it a little smaller. And again, you want this to be applied only to your card. Once you're done, hit tick. So we want to move it in our layers panel. Move it down so that it's underneath the word forever. And move it down again so that it's underneath the peach circle frame. Then you're going to right click and create clipping mask. And you can see it's applied to the front of the card. I like it like this, but I'm going to show you a nice effect that you can do with the artwork. Go to the top here in your layer panel and select, go down to divide. And it gives a really nice, gentle colored effect. And really you get a different style of artwork for your card. So I'm going to do the same again, drag and drop for the large floral PNG and hold down the shift key. I'm going to rotate it around and place just a fraction of it at the bottom here. Hit tick once you're done, right click, create clipping mask and select divide. So here we have our card forever. We want to get rid of this dark line on the outside of our card. So we'll bring our guidelines back in, just select your eye tool here and over on your front and the back, so hold down your command or control key to select both layers. Go across to your rectangle tool or hit U for short and go to your stroke and select no fill. 
hit V or your move tool again and you'll see that the edges of our card are gone. So it will print simply like this and then you can use these guidelines to trim and score your card. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe picked up a new trick. We have lots more tutorials coming soon and also some more card tutorials as well. So stay tuned. <laughs>